Testing, testing, one, two, and the three, Chini san. Hi, guys, and welcome back to VR Essentials, where we talk about the practical uses of virtual reality. Today is a very exciting and special day, of course, if you're watching today, upload, well, very Merry Christmas to you. If you're watching in the new year, Happy New Year to you. And if you're watching in the future, hi and welcome to this craziness today. A very exciting video as we're going to talk about the number one app that I feel, especially if you're new to VR and you haven't really experienced what's around, that you should be experiencing first, which of course will be all about Google Earth VR or potentially wonder if you can't find it because you don't have perhaps a PC to power your VR headset. But first guys, we are giving away a brand new HP Reverb G2 sponsored by HP themselves that one lucky winner will get to win and also a brand new pair of cyber shoes. We'll also be giving away a $50 US dollar, 50 US dollar voucher to any game keys that you want to redeem upon your perhaps your MetaQuest store or your Viport or your SteamVR store. It will be completely up to you as to how you want to spend the money and more game keys to four, fourth or potential fifth winner which we will be announcing. So do make sure to enable your bell after you subscribe. We'll be announcing this, how to enter on December 29th because on December 28th, guys, link description below in the pinned comments and also in the description below as to how to enter the current competition where two winners on December 28th will be announced as to how they can go to the vrcover.com website and pick any item that they want capped to 29 euros or 29 US dollars per item per winner. So guys, Good luck to you on that row. Let's just jump into VR now and we're going to explain to you why as to Google Earth really is the app that you should try first when you get a brand new VR headset or perhaps if you haven't been with VR for a while as to what you should do next. Google Earth is the answer. Let's jump into VR. So by the way, guys, Google Earth is available absolutely free on the Steam store and also, I believe, on the Meta Oculus Quest store. Um, for those who have an Oculus Meta Quest 2, you may have to use the Rift version uh, on your Oculus PC version, or you may have to use the Steam version. I'm not quite sure. I can't remember which version doesn't work because, of course, we don't have an Oculus Meta Quest 2. And if you do have an Oculus Meta Quest 2, by the way, you will need a Facebook account to run this. It's not possible to run the Oculus Meta Quest 2 without a Facebook account. So do be very aware of this. Um, but at the end of the day, let's just download the game and I'm going to explain to you as to why I feel Google Earth VR is really the number one app to use when you first get your new brand new VR headset or if you haven't been in VR for a little while. So let's just go in after it's downloaded. So by the way guys, if you don't want any issues with your actual app when it's running, just go to your video settings, then go to per app and then go and choose Google Earth VR and just bring it down all the way to the resolution of the actual, or close enough as possible to the actual resolution of the VR headset. Should be 260. Okay, I'll just leave it there, which is close enough to the actual VR headset, uh, because you might actually have some issues with performance. So if you do, just bring it down and then you can increase it if you need to, if you find that your uh, actual you know, app won't have any issues. All right, let's launch this thing. So the reason why that I believe that Google Earth VR is really the best app to start off when you don't really have a lot of experience inside of virtual reality or you haven't been in VR for a long time is because guys, VR isn't about shooting and killing people and killing zombies and you know, all this violence in video games. VR first and foremost is about feeling a sense of immersion, feeling a sense of exploration, and just diving inside of the world of VR in terms of what you can really take in as much as possible, just being in awe. And, and, and it's also, the metaverse is all about interconnectivity. It's all about potentially meeting other people in different parts of the world, in different galaxies, in alternate, Realities, which is what virtual reality is all about. Just imagine being able to hop on Earth and then have another planet and hop on that planet, then another planet, and hop on that, on that planet and just travel within the universe. And I think that Google Earth VR, of course, where it stands today, doesn't offer everything that we're looking to, you know, of course, it doesn't offer everything about 
about what I'm talking about. But at the end of the day, at the moment, Google Earth VR really provides this level of immersion as to travel and going through distances in the world because the graphics are getting so much better inside of this app. It's getting freaking crazy. By the way, hi guys to anyone watching from Germany. Hi to Sebastian Ang if he's watching today because I know he's in Germany from MR TV. I mean, it is just really crazy in terms of the level of the graphics that are available in Google Earth VR. Today's video is not so much a how to, you know, it's not a how to use Google Earth. I just want to show you, especially for those who are not used to VR, those who haven't been in VR for a long time, or perhaps aren't familiar with Google Earth VR. It's just an absolutely amazing, amazing app that offers just such a level of detail. The graphics are so much better compared to a year ago. It is really crazy. And just imagine in the future as to how Google Earth VR will be, you know, it won't be still images anymore. Once the metaverse grows and technology becomes better and better, when you're going to be doing Google Earth VR, it will be video, it will be AIs. You'll have a real AI, you know, being able to go to Street View and actually meet people who are walking around and talk to people and be able to pick up objects. It won't be so static as it is today. Of course, today, you can go to Street View, which enables you to look inside of the actual buildings or look inside of the actual environment when it is available. Now I'm traveling to Germany. I can see inside of the supermarket. I mean, it's pretty awesome in terms of giving me uh, a, a, a little glimpse as to what the life is like over there. And I can also go anywhere. We can go to all our favorite places. For example, we can go to Manhattan. Let's go and say hi to our US guys. Hi guys, if you're from the US and you're watching today's episode. By the way, I am using the HP Reverb G2 just for those who are curious or who are unsure as to the headset I'm using with an RTX 2070 i7-9700K Hero Maximus 11 motherboard. I mean, look how amazing this is. It, of course, if you're not comfortable in VR, you can also have a safe mode view, which enables you to have vignetting around. So it'll be better for those who perhaps have a little bit of motion sickness. But this app, frankly speaking, does not provide that much motion sickness whatsoever. And it's so easy to navigate. It's really amazing. I mean, look at these graphics. I can go all the way to the buildings. And all these buildings are updated in real time through the cloud server at Google. And you can go faster, of course, if you want to go faster. Or we can just go slowly. I mean, look at this. And the scale in this app is just absolutely amazing. And I can't wait for the development, as I mentioned before, of this app where eventually, five years from now, or six, seven years from now, Everything will be like an AI inside. You have video, you have mini cities. It'll be like traveling inside of the actual matrix because at the moment, this matrix as it is, of course, is very much empty. It's very much, very peaceful, very calming, very almost meditational inside. It's really, really amazing being in here. It's an amazing experience. And this is really what VR is about, guys. It's not, as I mentioned, about first and foremost, killing people and destroying things and self-destruction and zombie knifing and no VR is about immersion is about exploration is about travel into a different universe a different sense of reality and I feel that this is why this is really the best VR app for all ages Parents can go in with their kids. They can educate their kids about different parts of the world. Teachers can educate their students about different parts of the world. Families and friends can go back and reminisce in other places in the world, especially, for example, during COVID because there's lockdowns and also travel bans or people live in different parts of the world during festive days like Christmas or the New Year or Easter or birthdays or what have you not, big events 
happening in the world or during Indian festivals, Chinese festivals, Jewish festivals, Arabic festivals, so on and so forth. And you can just go and travel in different parts of the world and reminisce. Or you can go back in time and, or not back in time, but back to different places where perhaps you have a memory with one of your loved ones or something. Like maybe you went to Rio, Rio de Janeiro during the Olympics. Maybe you're one of those guys. And the great thing about this is you can change the time of day. You can make it daylight one moment, or you can bring it to twilight. I mean, it's absolutely amazing as to what you can do in this app. It's just absolutely crazy. Look at the beauty in here. It's just mad. You can rotate it. You can turn it around. It's a little bug there. Can you see it? Look at this. Let's look at the statue. Look at how beautiful this is. And you, you have all the special effects inside as well. You can move around really easily. I'm just trying to be as, oh, as smooth as possible, of course. There we go. Let's go back to the statue here. It's just absolutely beautiful. That's a different one. I didn't know this one. Cool. Maybe this is looks more like a telephone pole. And hi guys to so anyone who's in Brazil, by the way. I've never been to Brazil, but I have Brazilian friends. It's absolutely charming people, really amazing people, amazing culture, Pelé and football, of course, Maradona. No, Maradona is Argentina. Sorry about that. But hi guys, we're in Argentina as well. Absolutely beautiful, amazing place. And you can just go to different places. You can go to the beach, why not? It's absolutely amazing. And you have all the special effects, the sound of the wind as you whisk around. You can also choose to put some music on as you're going. I turned it off because of course, I don't want any copyright infringements but it's absolutely beautiful. And the graphics are just really sublime. They're really good enough to really feel like you are in nature. I mean, if it really is amazing. It's absolutely amazing to be in here. Of course, if you're on PC VR, it'd be much better. On the Oculus Meta Quest 2, there's another app available called Wonder. The biggest difference between Wonder and uh, Google Earth is that Wonder does not provide you these level of 3D graphics, it will be street view all the way. So let's just go to street view, for example. There we go. And then now we're in the middle of Rio, Rio de Janeiro. If you don't know what it's like, if you're traveling somewhere, you want to travel somewhere, you know, you can do this. You just go and travel around and wander around and see what life is like. And of course, if the photos are good enough and not blurry, it sounds a little bit blurry, then you know, you'll have a really, really good experience. There's so many, you can go absolutely anywhere that you want, guys. Absolutely anywhere that you want. I mean, these are just suggestions as to where you can potentially go. They also have tours, cities, nature. Let's go to Paris and check out the Eiffel Tower. Hi to my fellow friends in France. Bonjour, joyeux Noël, bonne année. Si vous regardez uh, pour le moment, parce que bon, c'est Noël et c'est la bonne année, donc uh, bonjour à vous. Mais si vous regardez après, ben, je vous souhaite uh, le bienvenu. So there you go, guys. Here's the Eiffel Tower. Absolutely amazing. Really awesome. Really cool. And of course, we can go street view and we can see what it looks like. Absolutely beautiful. You can see the sense of scale. It's like feeling like in Harry Potter a little bit because you're traveling around one moment, you're flying around. And then the other moment, of course, your street view and you really feel immersed. 
So as I said, just imagine the day when all these pictures will be replaced with video, AIs, you'll be able to interact with people, pick up objects, have your avatar walk around. That will be the real metaverse. Perhaps Google will be the first to create the actual metaverse. Who knows? We don't know who is going to be king of the metaverse. By the end of the day, I think that Google have an amazing piece of technology that not even Meta have at this moment in time. Meta does not have this. They have nothing available like this at this moment in time. You can save your different places as well. Let's go to London and say hi to our fellow Brits, British people as well. I mean, look how beautiful this is. Oh, wow. And leave a comment below. Let, let me know what, it, what are some of your favorite places that you really enjoy traveling to. Let us know where you're from. Let us know if you want us to do any tours on the VR Essentials YouTube channel as the places we can show other people using the Google Earth app. If you're more curious about Google Earth, let me know your questions. Let me know what kind of videos, what kind of ideas or suggestions that you might have that you want us to do on the VR Essentials channel that is related to Google Earth or traveling in VR. Absolutely amazing. So guys, let's just go to one more place before I end the video. Let's go to Rome and say hi to some Italian friends. If you're from Italy, hi guys, and welcome to your essentials. Italia, look how beautiful this is. Look how amazing this is. Absolutely beautiful. Italy is one of my favorite places on earth. I'd love to retire in Italy someday. The pizzas are amazing. The spaghetti is amazing. The culture are amazing. The people are amazing. So guys, as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, by the way, VR Cover, we're running a competition until December 28th, where we're going to pick up two lucky winners who can go to the website and pick any item that they want up to 29 euros or 29 US dollars per item. And they're also going to give you guys a brand new sweater as well. This is definitely for winter, which they've done and sent to us at VR Essential. So thank you very much, VR Cover. And do remember, guys, that we are giving away a brand new HP Reverb G2 sponsored by HP and also a brand new pair of cyber shoes sponsored by cyber shoes game keys and more that we will be uh, announcing how to enter on december 29 after the announcement of the two winners on december 28 for the vr cover competition so do make sure to enable your bell off to subscribe um, so that you are aware as to how to enter very much that simple but guys i hope you enjoyed today's video i really feel that google earth is the number one app that you must try the first time that you go into VR or if you haven't been in VR for quite a while because as I mentioned it just provides this level of immersion of immersion uh, VR is all about exploration interconnection traveling uh, through space and time and revisiting reminiscing or planning for the future or discovery much more than it is about shooting or killing things or shooting zombies or knifing zombies or whatever you want to do uh, in VR. This, I think, Google Earth is one of the most beautifully made apps that is constantly updated. And I can't wait to see what they do in five to six or seven years from now, where everything will be one day replaced by AIs and meeting people and picking objects up and all this kind of stuff. So only time will tell. All right, guys, as I mentioned before, comment below. Let us know your favorite places in Google Earth. What do you think about this VR app and ideas and suggestions as to what kind of other videos we should do on the channel using Google Earth. Until then, I'd like to wish you a Merry Christmas if you're watching today, a Happy New Year if you're watching around the New Year, and also an awesome day if you're watching in the future. All right, guys, see you in the comments below and in another video very soon. Take it easy. Bye for now.